This PowerPoint is going to be about the past tense, um, the past simple. Let's get going. Okay, so far we've uh, done most of our work using the present tense, the present simple, which in Dutch is the OTT. And with this uh, part of the work, we're going to be looking at the past simple, which in Dutch is the OVT. In order to be able to know how and when to use the past tense, you have to be sure that you know how and when to use the present tense. So here is just a brief recap, revision of the present tense. So you use the present tense for situations and actions which happen regularly or always. For example, I work at the Burger King every weekend. That is something that is an action that is regular and always happens. It implies that you always work at the Burger King. Something that always happens is that water freezes at zero degrees centigrade. So then you would use the present tense. You can use the present tense when you're telling a story. If it's a very animated story, then you can say, yeah, so I wake up and I walk to the window and I call out his name. Guess what I see? I see um, my best friend walking in the garden. So, if it's a very active story, you can also use the present tense. You can also use the present tense after if, and also when you talk about train times, bus times, etc. So, the last train leaves at 3 a.m. Uh, what happens if you fail your exam? You don't say, if you would fail your exam, or if you failed your exam. It's what if. So, what if? and then the present tense. The past simple tense, the rules are fairly straightforward. You use the past simple for situations and actions that have stopped, that don't exist anymore. They've gone. So I worked at the Burger King last summer. I don't work there now. My best friend had a red Ferrari, but he or she does not now have a red Ferrari. If there's a specific period mentioned in the past, such as above with the Burger King last summer, then you can also use the past simple tense. So you see in the first example, yesterday, that's very specific. So you use the past simple, yesterday I went home. Last night, again, very specific, last night I watched television very specific time in the past, so you use the past simple tense. Okay, so now we're going to have a look at questions in the past tense. You'll see that from now on there are lots of colours in the PowerPoint presentation. It may seem very busy, but I'm hoping it will help some people to understand how to make colours how to make questions, I apologize, and how to use negatives. So what you'll see is the first verb is in red. That is the verb that you actually adjust. So like with making questions in the present tense, I've used the same color scheme here. The first verb is red, so did. The second verb is in blue and that is when you use the infinitive, the hele werkwoord. And I've put the rest here in yellow. What you'll see is in order to ask a question you use the verb did. That's the past tense of the verb to do, doen. And in English there is only one way to use it in the past tense and that is did. So I did you did, he did, we did, etc. Everything is did, so there's only one form to learn. Again, all the colours, it's the, um, the same colours I've used for the verbs, so did, your main verb is in red, and the infinitive, is in blue. The yellow pieces here are for the subject, the on the verb, so in order to make a negative, you use the format onderwerp, did, didn't, 
plus hele werkwoord. So here, I is the subject. Did not or didn't. And then slip the hele werkwoord. And then comes the rest on the ice. Annie is the subject on the verb. Did not or didn't. Meet is from the verb to meet, ontmoeten. Pete, yesterday. They, on the verb subject, did not or didn't. Help, het werkwoord helpen, to help Bob with his homework. Okay, here are some examples. You're going to see some examples of positive sentences. For each sentence, I want you to think of the question and then think of the negative. I've used the same color scheme, so yellow, geel for the subject on the verb, blue for the infinitive or the main verb, and red for the verb that you have to change for voegen. Number one, they cleared the leaves off the pavements last week. How do you make the question? Here we go. Did they clear the leaves off the pavements last week? So did is vervoegd, they is onderwerp, and clear is het hele werkwoord. And then the rest van the zin. And now I want you to make the negative, so what they did not do. They didn't or did not clear the leaves off the pavements last week. Dus het onderwerp komt vooraan de zin, net zoals in de gewone zin bovenaan. They. Dan heb je je vervoegde werkwoord. Het werkwoord wat je vervoegt komt gelijk na het onderwerp. They didn't. En dan het hele werkwoord. To clear. Oké, okay, here comes another one. And here's your next sentence. My bike slipped on the ice. En nu word ik stil en ga je zelf nadenken. De vraag. Had je het goed? Did my bike slip on the ice? Yes, it did. Or no, it didn't. Gebruik je vraagwoord in je antwoord. My bike didn't slip on the ice. Next example. Okay, here's your next one. She walked all around London. What is the question? Yep, did you have it right? Did she walk all round London? Walk here is het hele werkwoord. And the negative? She didn't walk all round London. Ik hoop dat je nu een beetje de smaak te pakken hebt. En dat het steeds simpeler wordt. She walked all round London. Did she walk all round London? And the answer is yes, she did, or no, she didn't. And here with negative, it is no, she didn't walk all around London. And a volgende. Okay, here it is. Make the question. Ah, this one was a bit harder because you had to think of the Un, the irregular verb, onregelmatige werkwoord, hebben, have. My mother had a big bag of shopping, verleden tijd. Did my mother have a big bag of shopping? Het hele werkwoord, hebben, is to have. 
and we want to say no. So what is the negative form? My mother didn't have a big bag of shopping. Okay, you're doing well. Let's try another. And here we go. Here's the next one. Pete realized there was a problem. Make the question. Did Pete realize there was a problem? Make the negative. No, he, he didn't realize there was a problem. Great, right, let's move on. And here's another example. We watched the voice last night. Make the question. Did we watch the voice last night? I can't remember, did we? And the answer is negative. No, we didn't watch the voice last night. Yep, got them all. Let's get on to the next one. Okay, here it is. I voted for my favorite singer. Now, I can't remember. How do I ask the question? Yep, that's right. Did I vote for my favorite singer? Well, guess what? I wasn't telling the truth because in the negative form, I will say, no, I didn't vote for my favorite singer. Okay, so here's the last one. It worked. She won. How are we going to make that into a question? It's actually two questions. Did it work? Did she win? The verb is to win. It's infinitive, it's hele werk worden winnen. To win. Did she win? Okay, we said she won, but now we want to say the negative version. So we want to answer, did she win with no. So no, it didn't work. She didn't win. I hope you got them all right. I hope things are getting easier and I'll make sure that we practice this. If you're confused, please don't forget you can always ask.